already for like a lot of adorableness. Let me just show you what I have in store for you guys today. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? So if you've been keeping up with my Let's Chat videos, you know we're on the hunt for a puppy, but we haven't found one yet. So I got sweet little Kendrick the King Charles Cavalier, who I actually couldn't have in real life because I'm allergic, um, off of Amazon. He's really so sweet and he's kept me so much company um, since we lost our Sonny back in August. But Kendrick was the perfect model for my dog bandana tutorial. Now this is gonna be a bandana that slips over your dog's all uh, purchased collar. Um, so it's really easy to sew. You can crank out a whole bunch of these and for what it's worth, it's also reversible if you choose to make it that way. So let me take you to the cutting table, show you how to literally draft a custom dog collar for your specific dog, for their neck size, for their stockiness, for their height, everything's included, like made to measure <laughs> couture dog collar. Okay, really easy to draft this. This is gonna be a custom drafted dog collar, which sounds so extra, but what are we if not uh, custom dog collar makers if we have the ability to, right? Okay, so I have removed the collar from my dog so that I can get the length of the bandana. And this is so that we can get a really good, nice fit and there aren't any um, gathers and it just hangs really nicely. And this way also you don't have to worry about measuring your actual dog's neck. I don't imagine they would like that very much. Um, so I am measuring between the buckles. So one buckle ends about here, the other buckle ends over here. So I am just measuring in between those without even using a ruler or anything. And I've got this amount here. Now for the depth of the uh, casing, which is essentially what we're making here, I need to make sure that it can get over all of this hardware. Since we are slipping this over the collar, I need to make sure it can get over some of these bigger buckles. These all measure half an inch. So I'm going to give myself an extra little bit of wiggle room and I am going to do a three quarter, seven eighths inch deep uh, uh, collar, but I also need to add seam allowances because this is technically a seam line. So I'm going to go ahead and do a one inch deep uh, casing and that will give me a finished edge of th uh, three quarters of an inch because one side of this casing is not sewn. Does that make sense? I'll show you. Okay, so we've got one inch on one end, one inch on the other end. And then we need to connect these two lines here just with a dashed line because we're, again, we're not actually cutting this uh, casing. This is what we use for our next measurement. So we've got a seam allowance added up here, but none added down here. And then uh, what, oh, we need to find the halfway point of this. So just line up the two short edges, put a little pinch in your tracing paper. You can put a little notched arrow and then I'm gonna line this up so that my dash line is on one line of my mat and the notch is on a vertical line like so. That's just gonna help make this next part go easier. Okay, so for the depth of your bandana, how far down the little point is gonna come, I like somewhere around three times the width of your casing. So our casing is three quarters of an inch. Um, three quarters times three is two and a quarter inches. So I am going to take my ruler and add uh, from the dashed line, I'm going to mark down two and a half inches, which is right here. Now, obviously this is going to be a shorter bandana. It's wide, but short because our little guy Kendrick here <laughs> has a pretty stocky neck for a little guy. You know what I mean? Like Sonny's neck was probably half the size of his neck. But when you come down to his chest, his chest is not super, super long. Like if we have the collar on him, 
you know, two and a half inches is going to come all the way down here. If we go to three and a half inches, then it could get in the way of his ability to walk. It might drag on the floor. You might have some issues. So I know it looks a little bit funny here, but depending on how your dog is built, <laughs> for lack of a better term, if it's like a stockier but shorter dog, you might have a collar that reflects that. Now, if you've got a nice big dog, where um, the neck is very proportional to the height of the dog, you can go up five times. Um, so just kind of take a look at your dog's dimensions and um, or its body type and then um, make your bandana <laughs> accordingly. I told you it was extra. Okay, so we do not, we have yet to add seam allowances anywhere other than the top yet. So don't forget that. But I also like to flatten out this little point here because the irony is if you have a bit of a flatter point, your fabric turns into a pointier point. It makes no sense, but that's how it works. Um, so I want to measure up to where there is a quarter inch between this line and this line. Um, it's not going to be very far. It's not going to be very dramatic. It's very, very subtle, but it's right here, okay? And so now I need to add in my seam allowances all around all these edges. I'm doing a quarter inch seam allowance, but feel free to do whatever you're more comfortable with. Okay, so now we've got all of our seam allowances drawn in and this is our cut line. You're coming down, you're going across, and then you're going back up again, all right? So ignore this and ignore that. All right, so cut this out. You're gonna cut out two of these out of your fabric. It's technically reversible, so you can use two different fabrics if you want to make it truly reversible, or just use one and it'll just be, you know, pretty and finished on both sides. All right, this is our bandana fabric cut out of our pattern piece. Now we're gonna head to the sewing machine and we are going to sew um, or actually before we do that, we need to interface one of these. One of these pieces gets interfaced uh, to make it nice and sturdy and well-made for our little guy. So go ahead and cut out one of the interfacing and go ahead and apply it based on the manufacturer's instructions. All right, so now we have a right side and a wrong side to this guy. And then this guy is gonna get placed right on top and we are going to stitch all along this long edge here. After we stitch this long seam here, we are going to press it open and top st uh, press the seam allowances toward the non-interfaced side and then top stitch along the non-interfaced side. All right, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is what we have. We have stitched uh, the long edge right sides together. We pressed the seam allowances toward the uh, non-interfaced side and then top stitched along that seam. So holding the uh, seam allowances in place to kind of reinforce that seam a little bit. Now at this point, you can kind of true up some of these if you want to make them a little bit prettier. Don't go crazy. Um, but you know, just to make sure that they are nice and flat because our next step is going to hem, is going to be to hem these. So we are going to turn these short edges in by half an inch, press them together, and then turn that raw edge in like so, so that you have a quarter of an inch hem on this side and this side. Okay, and here is what we have got now with our uh, side seams hemmed, <laughs> I guess. I'm, I'm using garment sewing terminology. I mean, technically it is a garment, but um, it just seems silly because it's for a dog. But we are going to line up the uh, raw edges of the angled sides, and we're going to th use the quarter inch seam allowance, so... Uh, starting on uh, here, not starting up here. This is not going to get sewn shut. We're starting here, sewing all down this side, pivoting to a couple of flat stitches, and then back up the other side where it will meet up with the um, other side seam. Okay, so just along these little 
diagonal edges. All right, at this point, we are going to turn it right side out and give it a really good press. That will be easier or harder depending on how big your casing is, but trust me, it can be done. So I'm gonna work on this off camera and I'll be back when it's done. Use a pencil or something to help you along the way if it's really small. All right, here is my little itty bitty dog collar. <laughs> She's just too cute. Um, okay, so from, from here we need to make our casing, close up our casing. So remember, the finished size of the casing should be um, three quarters of an inch. This has gotten a little bit manipulated with the iron. That's okay, we'll just straighten it back out again. But we wanna stitch three quarters of an inch um, from the top edge. So get a marking tool of some kind and mark this line here. I can see that mine, because I am using a geometrical print, geometrical, <laughs> a geometric print, mine is just gonna be on this line between the white and the blue gingham. So I'm just gonna stitch along there to keep it nice and even. And then you can take it a step further if you'd like and top stitch uh, around uh, from, top stitch all of this and then you can go back and top stitch this bottom portion if you would like as well but I'm going to leave mine plain. Okay here she is casing made. We need to slip the collar back in and you just feed it through like you would you know elastic in a casing or a drawstring or anything else. Okay and there you have it. So so cute. Let me get Kendrick. Hi buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh I'm dying you guys <laughs> so so stinking cute right so there you have it it's pretty straightforward a couple measurements and you are on your way the sewing part i feel like is really easy even for a beginner so is and you can crank out a whole bunch of these in pretty much no time so um hopefully you will be making little bandanas for all the little furry friends in your life for what it's worth it'll also be equally as adorable on a cat i could just never own a cat severely allergic but um if you end up making any of these for the uh four-legged friends in your life and then you end up posting a picture of it on the internet please tag me i'm it, I'm at Inside the Hem everywhere. I absolutely love seeing um, when you guys use my tutorials to make something. So from Kendrick and me, we say that's going to do it for us today, but we will see you very soon, right? Bye. <laughs> I really need a dog. <laughs> see y'all soon. Bye.